airplane was about eight years old. My family took a trip to some exotic location on the coast of Texas, and it was some aquarium. And my parents told me we could get something from the gift shop. And in the gift shop, above the cash register, was the most beautiful sword I had ever seen. It was some sort of saber, and it was a brass handle with uh, a sheath. It was wrapped in velvet. Okay. And it was absolutely beautiful. And I wanted that sword in the worst way. I, I begged my father for that sword. And I said, I promise I won't hit anybody with it. I'll just, I'll use it to dig in the yard. But I wanted that sword so bad. And when I saw that, it was almost like my life's calling it was visiting me in that little dinky gift shop on the coast of Texas. It was fabulous. Fortunately, a short time later, uh, a friend of mine introduced me to the Society for Creative Anachronism, and I got to play with swords all the time, and it was awesome. There's nothing so real as being hit with a stick, and so you know, the rest of my life I've got a hundred different things that I'm, I'm thinking about. This project for work, or this thing at home, and I need to do this. But if I've got a sword in my hand, and especially if I've got a good dance partner who's going to hit me in the face if I don't pay attention, then it's immediate. It's right here. There's nothing else. And that's really what keeps me coming back. Even though I'm old and broken and sore and I hurt and this is stupid, it's that immediacy mm -hmm. that you really can't get anywhere else. I did have a, a real fear after getting the defibrillator put in that I about getting hit and my physically I was ready to do it but mentally I was very afraid to to get out there and, and exert a bunch of energy and to take shots to the torso. I mean, I wasn't sure what was going to happen. Um, but my doctor assured me, as long as you put something over it and you cover the defibrillator, that you're fine. And you can go and be as active as you want to be and you can do something like this that's physical. And it changed my, my thinking because now I'm, I, I look at it with it. You know, we, we pretend we pretend like we're we're killing each other, right? And this has been sort of a, a a pillar of our learning in this in this class is that these are real, right? And you don't take anything for granted because if you get hit with a sword, you won't get to go home, right? And so this has really changed because had the nurses not been there, I would not have gotten to go home that day. And so having this, I'm very grateful to have it. And it's made me realize how, how grateful I am that we're not really hitting each other with real sports. What I have learned, and, and part of the training I received in the Army was uh, stress training. So we would do things like do a really long road march or do a run and then go shoot for accuracy at the range as a stress test or we would just do task after task after task for a big challenge. My experience has been vastly different. I didn't get to do any like up close hand to hand stuff minus uh, I guess what cops would do just like arresting terrorists or whatever. Uh, so not a lot, not a lot of that uh, which I'm glad for. Uh, because what I experience here informs me that I guess I'm glad I had a rifle. <laughs> I'm glad I had a machine gun. Because, man, fighting in a war with a hammer and a, you know, sword or a spear, if you're poor, whew, that sounds kind of scary to me. That's really intimidating, that idea. But I guess it's all relative to your experience. I've had opportunities come around because I'm able to use swords. Um, I've always kind of been into the martial aspects, uh, 
despite being a pacifist, which has led me to practice swords, practice boxing, um, and all of this is great in stunts because no one wants to hit you there. No one wants to hurt you there. Um, and he here, even though we're practicing a martial, um, we're, we're engaged in a martial practice, we're not trying to hurt each other. We're, we're trying to learn, theoretically, how to straight up murder each other.